Okay class, so I'm your biology teacher for today and I'm going to give a short lecture on progeria. In this lecture, you're expected to learn three things. The first one is the basic concept of progeria. The second one is the medical conditions of progeria. And the third one is who gets the disease. Okay, so first of all, I'd like to start the lecture by briefly introducing what progeria is. Progeria is a, um, a natural acceleration of the natural aging process. It is a very rare genetic condition because only one in four to eight million people are expected to get the disease. Also, um, there is a form of DNA strip called laminae or progerin, and, and that is something that is thought to be the cause for progeria. However, there is not a specific or exact cause for progeria, not yet, so we're not sure what exactly causes progeria. Okay, so now that we know the basic facts about progeria, now that we know the basic facts about progeria, let me move on to what happens when we get the disease. Uh, so, when you get progeria, you're most likely to, oh, sorry, let me start again. So, um, when you get progeria, um, many, um, most patients of progeria, Okay, so what happens when you get progeria is that your lifetime cycle goes faster than any other person's. So for example, if you're a 10 year old and you have progeria, it is most likely that you will look like a 70 year old person. Think of Benjamin Button in the movie The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. The baby is so small, but he has wrinkled face and he looks like a grandpa. That's what happens when you get progeria. So let's move on to what kind of people get progeria. <laughs> Well, ironically and very unfortunately, it is children who are most likely to be affected with progeria. Children from all over the world, regardless of sex, culture, or race, um, have been affected with progeria. And they share these certain physical similarities between them. And they can be characterized by wrinkled face, a bald head, um, protruded face, um, narrow jaws, and pinched nose. So these are the characteristics that a patients uh, that a patient who has progeria will look like. Um, and also, all these children are expected to live only up to when they are 13 years of age. So when a, a baby is born with progeria, he can only live up to when he's 13 years of age. Okay, so finally, to sum up my lecture, I talked about what is progeria, which is an anomaly in the process of aging. And second of all, I talked about what happens when you get progeria, which is when your life cycle goes faster than anyone else's. And last of all, I talk about who is most likely to get progeria, which are children from all, of the, all over the world, regardless of sex, age, or culture. Thank you for listening. And next time, you will be expected to take a pop quiz on progeria. Thank you.